<coughs> hey guys this is my Nexus 7 2013 I have rooted my Nexus 7 uh, using Super SU and uh, I am also I also have a custom recovery TWRP custom recovery I seem to have uh, received a new update um, before I turn off and install this update I'll um, I'll back it up. To back it up, you have to go into the KC folder. As you can see, I'm using uh, ES File Explorer to do it. Um, you need root access, and uh, you need to have root explorer switched on uh, to be able to do it. I'll just uh, uh, copy it and then go to my SD card and paste it here okay uh, as you know that my device is rooted and uh, I have a custom recovery installed uh, to take this update uh, I need to go back to stock recovery to do that uh, you need to download stock recovery and uh, place it in your uh, root folder place it in your SD card like this one and name it, and name it stock stock.img well this is the procedure that I use if you if you want to use your own procedure to flash stock recovery then you then you can do it uh, whereas I use this app simple recovery switcher you can uh, get this from the play store I will include the link in the description below if you are watching this on the YouTube um, so uh, with this app I can easily uh, switch between custom and stock recovery and this app works if you have uh, the images stored on your SD card with names custom.img and stock.img that's why I have uh, shown the previous uh, that's why I have sh shown ES explorer with uh, these files so my update file is there and uh, this is just for backup purpose and my stock.img custom.img file is there now I'll just have to uh, click on stock you can see the flashing sign there and you can see stock recovery is flashed so now I have my stock recovery but my device is rooted so I will have to unroot my device to be able to install this uh, uh, update for that I'll go into settings and then full unroot you can select this option called full unroot you can see the description it cleans up and everything you just go and click on continue what it will show is it will show uninstalling and you have to wait a little um, it is done so you, your device is now unrooted when you restart your device uh, it will be unrooted now okay and one more thing is that guys if you have modified your system in any way uh, this update won't work so uh, you need to flash back your uh, system.img again um, so you just have to go to fast boot and uh, uh, flash uh, the stock system image uh, that won't uh, format your user data but it just uh, uh, restores the system you need to go to fast boot and then flash the system.img uh, I'm not showing that uh, in this video because uh, I have not modified my system in any way but if you are interested I will uh, include a link in the description below how to do it so now I can go ahead and click on install and restart and install it will take some time to reboot into recovery to install this thing So there you go, Google is starting up. It's all fine guys and it is rebooting. It is op optimizing apps which will take a lot of time. Uh, so we will just uh, we will just skip all of this. Uh, so here my here is the updated version from 5.1.1 to 5.1.1 but there is a different build number LMY48G which is the latest version as of today 
mm, so the update works just fine so guys to submit all up you have to do uh, what you have to do before taking OTA is that you have to um, unroot your device you have to flash back the system recovery and then if you have made any changes to the system you have to restore the system by flashing the system.img from the original factory image so that's all the things you have to do and then the OTA update works just fine I hope this video uh, helps you uh, if it has helped you in any way please give a thumbs up and then um, I'll see you in my next video